so dum so no gana for do do no a e na wo ma dwum e yo mo na saban asha si o senso en sha si o wo wi sa ho asema e ne na ye dia sha wo ye o cha ne dia sha wo na se se de dum so dum so e ko so me mu no gana gas for e dey have to just say wo mo draw ban pipeline na wo mo atum wo ha wo aba ho nti e ne nam so ama no abasa na nu mu no wo che se na wo twumie nu achi wo mo di si si na na wo twumie nu nu esipa dum so dum so no e to e be twa prekope why do you have uh, outages or shutdowns? And in this case, we're talking specifically about the planned outage. A couple of reasons. First, it's really to meet insurance and warranty requirements and also to preserve the integrity of your facility. And, and uh, sometimes you just want to also have some modification or addition to an existing system. And that is particularly why we are actually gathered here today. The fact that we are looking at now interconnecting Ghana Gas's pipeline system with that of WACO. Certainly, when that happens, more often than not, you would have to shut both systems down. And it's not just a matter of just joining two pieces of pipe. It goes way beyond that. First, your system will have to be depressurized. That means these systems are at very high pressure. You have to depressurize them. And you also have to make them inert. Inert, that will mean that you will have to take all the flammable gas out of the system before you can do any works, hot works of interconnection. And then it's, it's, it's also be looking at equipment and facilities such as your regulator, your metering facilities expansion, piping that you may have in there will all have to be modified. Heaters, all those will also have to be modified to meet your uh, intended design, if you will. So that is where we are at now. We are, we are looking at actually interconnecting WAPCO system to Ghana Gas system. And why are we doing that? Essentially, to be able to take um, some of the surplus or residual gas in the West or Takradi area to the Tama area. That's essentially um, where we are at. I think um, we began some three or so weeks ago, uh, and, and the intent was to have what we call a partial shutdown. So with a partial shutdown, you would be able to still flow some gas whilst you do some works, um, which you, you will bring in and then time later on. But we, we are now on the cusp of, of a total shutdown. A total shutdown means there will be absolutely no gas flowing through those two systems. So the impact is simple. You, you would have to make sure that you have an alternative facility or an alternative fuel source to substitute for the gas that will be um, out, if you will, for the next 10 to 12 days. I was not